It was enormous shock and highly upsetting when we were told this week that we were getting the sack. Australian seafarers have been working on BHP iron boats for more than 100 years. One in eight merchant seafarers died defending this country in two world wars. After that length of service and with such decorated history, we would have expected better from a company known historically as the Big Australian. The fact it was done when both of the Maralula and the Lowlands Brilliants were both outside Australian waters in the quiet period in early January when many Australians were on holidays is an absolute gutless disgrace. BHP and Blue Slope's lack of consulta consultation and the fact that we have an agreement that runs until the middle of the year makes us wonder whether the company is trying to get ahead of a possible change of government. We think that there are alternative cape sized bulk vessels suitable for the Blue Scope freight task and we wonder why the company won't consider other options. The removal of two vessels from the Australian coast is a real kick in the guts for us, our families and our comrades. <coughs> we are ordinary working people and believe there should be jobs for hard-working Australians to work in their own country. We do not want to be replaced with foreign-based crew being paid as little as two dollars an hour and we don't think it's fair that we should be expected to compete with slave labour. We do not believe our industrial system and temporary licence regime should be able to be undermined by companies who prefer to pay foreign crew slave wages. Australia is increasingly allowing an international race to the bottom of the shipping and this has to stop. Companies that are prepared to pay their crew two dollars an hour are often just as unscrupulous when it comes to the environmental and safety standards. We need to change the rules and change the government because decent honest Australian jobs are worth protecting.